It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've got a beer for me that I'm quite excited about today. And it's got a lovely squirrel on the front. I mean, doesn't that look fantastic? It looks like something from Elden Ring or some fantasy kind of movie. Um, but it's a new brewery for me. They might have been out a while. I, they be I believe they're in the Leeds here. They are. Taverners Walk in Leeds. And they're called Tartarus Beers. This is called their Ratoska. It's a, a Kvik Pale Ale coming in at 4.4% ABV. But I've just read the address of this brewery. Why do I know of Taverners Walk in Leeds? Have I been there before? Have I been to a brewery in Taverners Walk? Is it a purchase by maybe maybe a smaller brewery has expanded and this brewery jumped into their old space? Let me know in the comments box. But without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. I love trying new beers from new breweries. It's for me, it's one of the kind of like the exciting one of the exciting things about reviewing beer is trying beer from new breweries because every new brewery you try, they're coming up with their own idea for what they think beer should taste like. And every brewery and every beer tastes slightly different. So we got a three finger white head. It's a lovely, lovely straw coloured, about as straw coloured as you're going to get, but it's got a fantastic haze to it. A good amounts of small carbonation, making its way up the side of the glass. I want to say a massive thank you to Stephen Claxon, who was fantastically bought this beer in trembling madness in york for me and send it down to wales thank you very much Stephen claxon uh, we're getting towards the end now i think well we got we got two more beers to review after this and then we reviewed the whole box and we managed to do that whole box in a week just concentrated really on these beers all week long there must have been i don't know something like 20 beers that were sent it was an absolutely fantastic gesture because the beers well they were all kind of like high-end dessert stouts and Kvik IPAs, triple IPAs. Wonderful gesture. Thank you, Stephen. So aroma on the beer then. My goodness me. Wow. That is full on. That is so tropical. punchy kind of pineapple, tin pineapple. A little bit of tangerine. A little bit of grapefruit. Smells. The aroma on this beer just gives me the idea of like this is smashable beer absolutely smashable chug it down beer let's dive in cheers everybody <laughs> and indeed it is stone the crows stone the crows what a beer this is First of all, you get the little hiss and fizz of the carbonation pushing the beer around the inside of the mouth. Now, that's very common for a kvik beer. We'll talk about kvik yeast in a moment, but I want to talk about the hops first. Wow. Tinned pineapple chunks, that lovely kind of syrupy, fantastic kind of, if you open a tin of pineapples, 
in the, in the tin, of course, and you've got that syrupy juice. You get that in abundance. Loads of grapefruit, like you cut a grapefruit in half, put a little bit of sugar on that grapefruit, and just smash your face into that half of grapefruit with the sugar on the top. And it's just a combination of a little bit of sweetness from that sugar and, and that fantastic grapefruit taste. It really is like drinking... It feels like, like a hotel, morning hotel juice. When you go to a hotel, I go to lots of hotels because I go to lots of beer festivals, I go to lots of breweries. And it's the only time I do it. Uh, because it's there and I'm lazy. <coughs> but I'll have a pineapple juice or an orange juice or, you know when you see them machines constantly spinning the orange juice around and you know it's it's cold first thing in the morning fantastic but this has got the the, the, the taste of a of a morning breakfast kind of juice drink so soft they've treated the water it's fantastically soft tremendous beer this is my first beer from this brewery and I tell you what I will be looking I will be looking for more of this stuff. Have they mentioned the hops in the beer? So um, the ingredients are barley, wheat, oats, water, hops and yeast. They haven't mentioned the hops uh, in the beer. But right, I'm ready to talk about Creek yeast if you're interested, everybody. Now, uh, it's been around now for about four or five years, I would say. Um, when I was in Norway about four or five years ago, there was murmurings of a new yeast strain that the Norwegians had, had, had cultured and it was extremely quick at fermenting. It would kind of like ferment out in sometimes less than 24 hours and you'd feel the side of the tank and the tank would be warm where all of that yeast is doing the work really, really quickly. And it makes the beer very clean, very clean, but... There's a sort of kind of estery fruitiness that comes from the yeast at the same time. And it was such a good yeast strain to use for these pale ales and IPAs that this yeast strain was kind of adopted by lots and lots of brewers, lots and lots of brewers um, around the world. Because it was so consistent, it was so fast, and it give that lovely estery kind of flavour to it. And you get that in the beer. You definitely get that flavour in the beer. That slight kind of dryness, that slight kind of estery kind of dry but slightly fruity flavour coming through. But what a beer, what a beer this is. This is just magnificent, absolutely magnificent. There's a little bit of yeast in the bottom of the glass there. Nice lacing, fantastic aroma. Fantastic, now, now I'm able to really wash the beer around in the glass. Absolutely fantastic aroma. Absolutely fantastic taste. Uh, there's a word here that, now I, I don't know what that means to be honest. I don't know whether it means ratatoska. Um, it kind of reminds me of ratatouille a little bit, but a squirrel version. <laughs> right, um, I'm going to rate this beer. Um, if this is my first beer from Tartarus Beers, then I want more. That is terrific pale ale. It's a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.